Hey, good morning, everyone. Right now I'm in the middle of nowhere doing devotions, so welcome. I'm actually in a ghost town in Alberta called Bankhead, and it's in the middle, really in the middle of the mountains right outside of Banff, and I'm not sure why anyone would relocate. It's so beautiful out here. Uh, but I do want to talk to you for just a minute on the subject of foundations. Now, Ephesians 2 verse 20 tells us to build upon the foundation of the prophets, the apostles and the prophets, and Christ Jesus himself being the chief cornerstone. Now, there's something super significant about foundations because it's, of course, the first thing that is laid after the ground is leveled uh, when you're creating a structure. And what it does is it, it carries the weight of the entire house or the entire building. Now, one thing that I've noticed, you've probably noticed if you've explored any old structures that have been around for a long time and are vacated, that they're like here, for instance, there's, there's houses from this ghost town that of course no one lives in, no one has lived in for many years. Now, I wanna show you something now, behind me. You can see a decent foundation. It's all grown up. It's got a lot of vegetation and such growing off of it. But the thing is, none of the house actually exists anymore except for the foundation, this, this rock and cement. And there's, I've, I've already probably went in about half a dozen of these in this area. These little houses are buildings and all that is left is just the foundation, just the first thing that was ever put there. The rest of it is history. It's probably decayed, it's, it's long gone. There's not even any remnants of, of wood or, or shingles or anything like that. Just a bit of scrap metal here and there, but very visible foundations. And it's really the only way that you can find these things in the middle of the bush they're actually somewhat if you don't know what you're looking for they're somewhat hard to to come across because they blend in so well with the surrounding area but it's a reminder for us as christians how important it is for us to lay down a proper foundation and it can't just be anything a foundation of like our own traditions it can't be a foundation of our own thoughts or ideas that kind of come and go with culture because like this ghost town, everything in this life comes and goes. It doesn't exist forever, but we wanna be sure that our foundation is, is strong, that our foundation is secure, that it that it's on the, the apostles and the prophets, on those, those doctrines, those God-given doctrines they, that were put in the Bible for us to read for a purpose it's because there's so much truths well it is all truth found in these words and it's an everlasting truth the bible tells us that the word of god stands forever it's not something that is good for a certain culture in a certain time and then no longer relevant for the rest of future generations of humanity no but it's something that is good and that is wholesome and that works even for us here in 2021. So I wanna encourage you this morning, you could be an, a new believer, or maybe uh, you've been in church for a while. Um, and if you have been in church for a while, then you probably do have a good foundation. And I wanna applaud you for that because that's, that's what's gonna help you and has helped you to last this long. And in discipleship, at Emmanuel Lighthouse, one of the things that we do often is a series called Foundations and making sure that new believers, new people that are coming in with interests in church or the things of God, that they learn those, those initial fundamental doctrines before going on to greater things because 
just like babies, we need to start with milk and then we work our way up to being able to eat things like, like steak, things that are harder to chew, harder to, to process. So I encourage you, if you, um, if you wanna last in this thing, if you wanna um, be a believer and hold on from this moment all the way until Jesus comes back, I encourage you to build a foundation for yourself um, primarily upon Jesus Christ being the chief cornerstone because if your relationship with God is based on another person if it's even based on like a church building or a denomination or anything like that um, then it's number one it's not going to be genuine and number two it's not going to last but if you do actually build your relationship with God, your faith on the foundation of Jesus Christ. Guess what? He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's going to last forever. So he's going to be here now and all throughout eternity. So what you build upon him, upon that foundation, is going to last. And even when the winds come, even when um, you know the economy collapses, whatever the case may be, you know, there's a reason why um, there's a history behind why Bankhead was um, is now a ghost town, and there's ghost towns all across the world today. You, know, you think of like the Mayan ruins. There's still some existing foundations left, even there in these these ancient civilizations, where no one lives. Uh, there's there's no one that dwells in these these buildings around here. Maybe some raccoons or, or squirrels or or some kind of creature like that. But there's no people that live in this area. It's just wilderness. And all that's left is the foundation. It's just is a reminder for me this, this morning, a reminder for you that foundations are very significant and foundations are very important. So make sure that your faith, everything that, that you're doing for the kingdom of God, that it's all purpose and it's all built on jesus christ and it's going to last from now until eternity so i encourage you if you have been building on something else to shift gears a little bit and put your eyes on jesus if you have been building on jesus and maybe you're even going through some storms or th through some shaky shaky weather or whatever the case may be i want to encourage you that if you've built on jesus that it will last sometimes it it feels like it's not going to last that everything's going to crumble but if Jesus Christ is the chief cornerstone of your faith, of your belief system, of your walk with God, he's unshakable. He's never going to move. He's never going to go away. He's always going to be there. So he's always going to hold you up, even in the most difficult of times. So this morning, two things to encourage you with. Number one, build your foundation on Jesus Christ. Number two, if you've already done that, if you already have built your faith upon Jesus Christ, hold true to those apostles' doctrines, those those, those things that the prophets of old have given us. Hold true to those things, those belief systems. Hold true to the word of God. That's as easy as it gets. And stay strong in Jesus and he'll hold you up no matter what comes your way build your foundation and keep your foundation on Jesus Christ. God bless you this morning.